Well, my wife is nice enough to record one little tidbit for me today because I was, I was working on this. I had this slat wall. Mind you, let me preface with I had this slat wall. I had to use it up. Probably not the most ideal for this situation, but um, I wanted to get some of my hand tools, mainly my routers, back on this wall. And uh, with using this slat wall, it's just real thin particle board where that T-slot is. And it, this is uh, quite the stick out. And, you know, it's kind of bouncy with some of these heavy uh, spindles. So... I, I wanted some sort of diagonal bracing and I had a bunch of these, you know, little slat wall hooks and I was just trying to think of what I could and then there was this little hole here so I figured I'd utilize that. So I figured I'd run down what I came up with to, to fix this, remedy the situation because you can see the shelf kind of bounces and then this one, I mean, it's, it's pretty solid. So I was thinking I'd at least do that with these four and then I can surround it with my other tools. It doesn't really take up much space. So let's get into this because I already had this set up to where this was just over five millimeters. So I think I had a six millimeter bit, which hopefully you guys don't get too dizzy, but I was just trying to knock this out quick on a Friday. And then I had a bunch of uh, stuff I had to take care of, mainly the weekend. I already located the center beforehand and then center punched it. And then with a drill bit, I can just, because this is the idea. Those, that little piece is just going to be this accepting piece. But the way the angle of the dangle is here, I was worried that it was going to act as a wedge and kind of split this. It's just uh, Aspen or pop, no, it's poplar dowel stock. Um, so it's real soft material. So I was just going to come, if you want to back up here, I was just going to throw some CA glue, some thin CA glue on that end grain and let it just soak it up like a sponge. Throw some down in the hole, you know, for good measure. And just kind of let that soak it up a little bit. And then just give her a little, little activator shot in the hole, right? Anything fun for a Friday. So we got, so that basically that's going to act as kind of a, a wood hardener. Soaking into those fibers and that cyanoacrylate can actually kind of harden. And hopefully that'll prevent any type of, you know, over time that force wedging that splitting that hole open. I don't know if that's going to need it or make a difference. I know it'll make a difference, but I don't even know if it'll need it. And I guess you could do your own testing and see if it's worthy of writing home to mom about. But either way, I'm going to measure the length here. So now that I got that hole in there, and also mind you, um, if these routers were to tip off the shelf, and they'd probably bust. And even like this one with a, a regular plate on it, not a plunge plate, I like keeping the bits. That's why I like having so many routers. Certain things I just, I grab it for what I use it for and it's always set up. So this one actually has to sit on its top and it's actually a little bit, you know, like it might want to wobble. So that's why I wanted to stiffen it up. But also, uh, I'm also going to lift it up just a hair. That way, if there were to be any sag, it's not going to be towards the outboard side. It'll be anything that wants to roll, I guess, would be, you know, if that makes any sense. But let's see here. Is that the end? Yeah, I don't see. And then, like I said, I had these little holes here already in these brackets. So I was just going to utilize those. If you didn't have those, you could just use a, a drill bit and drill those out. But now I'm going to bust this over to the end saw here and see if I can't cut that to length. I know I'm working quick and I'm, I'm expecting her to do all the camera angles here, but so bear with me. <laughs> Oh, one more. I'm going to make a little slit cut because that, that bracket, I was actually dropping right in the middle. And then I'll show you, I was pinching that off with a bolt. No better way to pinch her off. And then I had to create a little bit of an angle there because of the way it comes up out of the bracket. So technically that kerf cut is going, you know, like there. Hopefully that makes sense. This is going to be kind of a, a weird approach to my spindle sander because I don't have my belt sander even accessible, but uh, I've been cleaning the shop. If you want to show the mess that is this, that's what's been going on. I know, I know. Don't fall into the sander. You might, you know, 
sand a nail off. I'm gonna just hit this guy real quick. Cause that's my favorite sander in the whole world and if my computer didn't crap the bed, I had a video edited that was 99% done. And I still wanna show you guys something on that. It's just, uh, anyway. So, oh, and then I had, uh, here, we'll drill a little hole in the end here. Yeah. Drive a bolt through. The flutes are all clogged. There we go. Oh, little blowout, that's all right. You guys caught that remark from last week's video. But I think that's everything we need. Um, and then I just had, oh, that's one thing. Uh, I'll just do it with a file quick. I would do this on the belt sander, but it's buried. My bolts weren't all that long. <gasps> That's the wrong size hole. Yeah, it is. I was supposed to switch drill bits. That's the drill bit for the end of the hole. All right, YouTube magic. All right. So now I'm going to hastily re remake another one real quick. This time, I'll switch to the appropriate bit. Oh. There's the appropriate bit. So now we won't make that mistake twice. <laughs> Hopefully, right? See now that VFD is humming and I hate that. It takes a while to power it all though. All right, round two. Perfect. All right, so then you just saw I drilled the wrong size hole here. So don't do that if you're going to do anything like this, you know. Good advice for the day. Don't drill the wrong size hole. Makes sense. Sounds good. And break. So now I got a little center punch with the appropriate size drill bit. And my bolts were only three quarters of an inch long. So I'm just throwing a little shoulder on there just to give my, uh, that lock nut. I'm putting, I'm using a lo nylon lock nut. So I always like seeing a couple threads. Get a good bite on those, but all right, let's try this bad boy out. Oh, I like that. As compared to like one finger, it's already stiffening up. And in case, I mean, the, my fingernail is turning white in case you think I'm just, whoa, look at this one's not doing nothing. Look at this guy. <laughs> I think that about does it. I don't know how many people, you know, will get, will be doing this exact thing, but it was, you know, crap I had laying around in the shop. So uh, a couple more of those, and then I got to find a couple more routers. That's the whole point is to get organized here. Yeah, anyways. So anyways, unless I quit blabbing, I'm just going to keep on going all day, so um yeah hopefully you can take away something from this uh if you're interested in slat wall i have a video i'll put down below as well on slat wall holders tool holders slat wall rubber baby bubby you guys have a good weekend later